Hey guys, Sovereign Source here. Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to do a quick stock take of the current Sovereign stack and see how close we are to that 100 Sovereign mark. So if it's not a full Sovereign, it doesn't count towards the 100. If we are talking, let me show you that a bit closer. If we are talking, like I say, just about Sovereigns, it does not include the half Sovereigns either. But something like this 2012, which is a bullion Sovereign, would be included. The beautiful 2022 proof sovereign, however, would not be included because I suppose it is a full sovereign, but it isn't part of my bullion sovereigns. And again, this 1989, it is a beautiful coin, but it is a two pound sovereign, not a normal sovereign. So it's a double sovereign and therefore doesn't count. So kicking things off, we have some special reverse sovereigns. This is the 2005 and 2002 and let's get these tubes out so yeah tube of 2022s again they're all just bullion sovereigns and as you can see let's just compare the proof to the bullion for you as you can see a much clearer strike on the 2022 proof compared to the bullion there's just a totally different finish to the coins, which is obviously what you're expecting and what you're paying for. You know, there is some scratches on that capsule, but the coins are actually pretty good. These are Gillick sovereigns. So Mary Gillick is the designer of this portrait. And these are all Elizabeth II. And if it's a Gillick, it will be between 1957 and 1968, because that is the year they were made. But there were a few years missing. So there's only 10 available years. I am almost there on a date run. I don't have a 1957, but I do have the other available dates. And in there we have about 12 in total, something like that. Oh, I've just spotted an imposter. Did you see it? Were you looking? So this is not a sovereign. So again, this would not count in my total. Uh, I just had it stored in the same tube. Moving on next, we have Victoria. So the various portraits of Victoria, there were three. And we have the George and the Dragon design. So the design you're all familiar with if you've seen a Sovereign before, as opposed to what I'll show you in a moment. So these are Victoria Sovereigns, which means uh, this date will be Young Victoria, which means we'll flip the coin this way. And uh, there we go. Some of the, probably, probably most collectors would prefer this portrait over the others, but uh, yeah. The sovereign's a sovereign, you know, if you're buying bullion, it doesn't matter too much. Maybe you'll have a bit of an easier time selling some nice Victorias. You might get a little bit more premium. Next, uh, no, no surprises here, we have some Victoria Shields, uh, sometimes called Shield Back. So these have a shield on the reverse of the coin, believe it or not. And I have a total of 15 of these in the full sovereign size. So... See a nice clean looking shield, the wreath around, the crown on top. Some will have a mint mark or a die number down here in this little space. So beautiful design, probably my favorite design on the Sovereign is the shields. And like I say, we have 15 of those. Some are very nice condition. They're not, you know, graded proof or anything like that. Just bullion. And we paid accordingly. So in some cases, these are actually coming as cheap as normal bullion sovereigns. In one case, they're actually cheaper. And yeah, I've been picking these up at various times just when, you know, when I see a good price. Now, a quick count up. I have 90 of these, but wait, there isn't 90 here. I have a little tube and we have 27 in here. So this is what brings us up to the 90. So are you ready? Most of these are just Victoria. Uh, sorry, no, they're not. Most of these are just Elizabeth. I say just, you know, they're, they're still a sovereign. They still weigh the same. But in here, we also have some George and Edward. So let's just find you an Edward in there. Uh, here we go. Here's one. So there we go. There is Edward on our coin. And yeah, he had a relatively short reign and uh, didn't feature on the coins for very long, just in the early 1900s. 
before George took a stint and uh, took us through to the 1930s, sort of somewhere there. Might have been 32, but don't hold me to that. There we are. So all the George and Edwards were the St. George design, slaying the dragon. It's a different George to the king. There you go, very, very nice. So yeah, like I say, they're just more bullion sovereigns. I say just, but you know what I mean. And uh, we have 27 in there. So it's 27 plus however many are down here. And that takes us to our 90 sovereigns. So I have 10 to go to the obvious milestone of 100. 100 sovereigns is about 23 ounces, 23 and a half ounces, somewhere there, of fine gold. So that will be a nice milestone to hit. And although I have goals, you know, things like that, I'm not really sort of pushing it and rushing to get in there and, you know, do it straight away. Obviously, I could go out and buy the 10 today and that would do it. But I just want to spread out my purchases, you know, keep to my cost averaging. And that way I'm not exposed to just one price point. You know, if gold price were to drop to a thousand tomorrow, then I could obviously buy more at the lower price. And it would have averaged and therefore not been just stuck at this higher price that we've got at the moment. So prices, you know, they go up and down and over time, just buying, holding for a long time, I think we'll do okay. So it's not financial advice, which if you're gonna take that as financial advice, good luck. But uh, this is not a sovereign. This is like I say, a quarter ounce line of England. I do still pick up other coins as well that are obviously not sovereigns. So this being one, I am looking for the one ounce version, just waiting for a good opportunity to buy that. And we have a few others, you know, like the, uh, Completer, Royal Arms, Kruger Arms, etc. So the reason I like Sovereigns so much, being in the UK, these come at a very low premium typically. It's not uncommon to see these, you know, two or three percent over spot. And you should easily be able to get them, you know, four or five percent, maybe six percent with postage if you're buying, you know, one or two at a time from, from most dealers. Uh, if anyone is interested and they want me to do a video on, you know, where to buy and things like that, it's something I do get asked quite a lot. I will do that uh, in a separate video. But I'd say just broadly, stick to a main dealer, at least for your first few. Someone who's got a good reputation, you know, one of the big online dealers perhaps. If you do have a local coin shop that is trustworthy and reliable, maybe comes from a recommendation, then try there. But just for the first few at least, it's just make, worth making sure you've got some real genuine coins. And then that way, you know, you get to learn what genuine ones look like. You'll be a bit better prepared when you go out into the wild. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like the gold sovereigns? Or are you more of a silver person? Let me know. And we'll talk to you in the comments.